I'm a delivery driver that picks up things on my route to flip for money. Just out here on the route, hit the jackpot. Well, the good news is we got it loaded. Bad news is I took the toolbox out the other day to haul the RV and uh, that's where all my ratchet straps are. So we're taking the dog leash and gonna try to do some magic with it. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, this is totally gonna work. I'm not nervous at all. Oh, my ass is so tight because all this butt pucker and shit I do. Well, we made it home. I was totally confident the whole time. I'd like to take this time to mention if you are going to dumpster dive or if you are going to curbside treasure hunt, you should always check for signs of creepy crawlies. I know that's really gross, but always check for that because you don't want to bring that home. I'm going to go shower now. I will say this set has seen much better days. This furniture was definitely a hair up, gloves on type situation. After removing all of the hardware, also to give a heavy cleaning to, I'm going to be using a degreasing, deglossing cleaner to go over all of this furniture with. It comes in granular form, and just like sugar in your sweet tea, you're gonna wanna use some warm water to mix that in with. It melts faster. Uh, actually, I think dissolve is the correct word there. I mixed this in a larger bowl because 32 ounces just wasn't gonna cut it. I actually went through six of these bowls to clean this furniture. It was that dirty. But keep in mind, it's a huge dresser and two matching nightstands. I know that there are people out there that are completely against painting furniture, in which case you're watching the wrong channel. But in case you do enjoy some of the things that I do, I'm just gonna forewarn you, I will paint this, but let me explain to you why. It is plastic on the front. It is clickety clackety plastic on the front. And then I also had to do some small repairs around the bottom edging, so it kind of looked funky. So it's definitely getting a paint job. So if you would like to scroll on now, feel free to do so. See, told you, clickety clackety. And because it's clickety clackety shiny, I'm gonna go ahead and put a bonding primer on it called Slick Stick. I'm applying it to all of the plastic pieces so that the paint has the best chance of adherence. And in the time it took to paint the 13 drawers, two nightstands, and beast of a dresser, I was able to raise a small child. But as annoying as it can be to have to put primers on stuff, in this case, it's completely necessary. This was such a slick surface. I don't want paint to chip off every time I pull a drawer out. So I'm gonna let this dry for 24 hours and then sand it. My next least favorite thing to do. But when the wood grain wants wood stain, the wood grain gets wood stain. Say that three times fast. I ended up mixing two gel stains together to get a color that spoke to me. And now for the part we've all been waiting for. The painting part. Inspiration can come from anywhere. A TV show. A field of flowers when you're on a road trip somewhere. A random stranger's t-shirt. I've always been drawn to hues of blue and coastal colors. So that's where we're headed. Warning, this piece will be painted in color. Oh no! Oh yeah! So if that's gonna raise your blood pressure, you might wanna scroll on now. Now here's where I'm going to use my Harbor Freight sprayer and my satin clear coat to seal in the chalk paint. Because when I go to add this silver gilding wax, it seals off the porousness of the chalk paint and gives me a smoother surface to work with. For those of you who love color, you are my people. You are my tribe. For those of you who love a more neutral tone, I have so many videos where I have painted in neutral tones. If you have found this video at all helpful, or at all funny, would you share it out to friends and then would you let me know what you found helpful or funny? I always say that painting furniture keeps me from throat punching people and there is a lot of truth to that. There's a lot of free therapy and self-validation in taking something that someone else threw away, painting it, making it beautiful, and then charging someone money for it so that you can go on a beach vacation this summer. Whatever your passion is, go for it. Don't let anybody tell you what you should or should not do. You only get one life, so use it to make the world a happier and prettier place. Play hard, peace out.